Yo, what's going on guys and it is insanity here and welcome to today's video and in today's video We're gonna be talking about how to get the iceberger shotgun in Borderlands 3 now just before this video starts Please be sure to leave a like on the video as it does help this channel grow and also please subscribe if you are new I do Borderlands content like this almost every single day, so please consider subscribing. I have a playlist on my channel called How To Borderlands for all your Borderlands needs and whatnot, and that link will be down in the description below. The Iceberger Shotgun, or I call it the Hamburger Gun because it literally shoots hamburgers. It's a legendary weapon in the event, the Revenge of the Cartels. Now, I don't know when the event is over if you're going to be able to farm it, so might as well farm it now as we know because I don't think you're allowed to get the ones from Bloody Harvest in the Valentine's Day event. Then again, I didn't even play the Valentine's Day event, so I didn't even know there was a legendary. The Iceberger is a Hyperion shotgun that is farmable from the Tenderizer Underboss in the Revenge of the Cartels event. Uh, you get it at on Joey's Planet at uh, Villa Ultraviolet. The Tenderizer is one of the underbosses you will fight here, or like a mini boss that you will fight here. Please do note also that it can drop from all the underbosses here, but it also does have a boosted chance to drop from Tenderizer. So all the underbosses in this, you know, event is the Tenderizer, Fish Slap, Francisco Firewall, Tyrone Smallums, Josie Bite, and Ro Roaster. So each location can have any of the six underbosses there. So just to let you know, it's not like you just go here here the tenderizers there and you kill them kind of tedious so yeah so all locations for where they can spawn is location one is right in front of the mansion right before you even enter the door in order to get him to spawn you must kill all the enemies in the area and then once you do that the under boss will come out of the main front door of the mansion and after killing the underboss you will be allowed access into the mansion so that's location number one uh, again it could be any of the six that spawn there it's different every time moving on to location number two it is on the second floor in the back Back of like the second floor uh, I'll be showing uh, you know routes on screen how to get to these areas so you know once you go up there again kill all the enemies in the area the underboss will eventually spawn and then just kill the underboss and then you can move on to the next location location number three is located on the first floor just all the way to the right again just follow the route I have on screen right now um, you know this one's kind of probably the longest one to do it, you know he's located all the way in the back of the right side on the first floor but yeah you know just keep killing all these enemies and get them to spawn kill the underboss you know depending on who it is they have their own drops but you know we're really looking for the tenderizer here location number four is on the first floor all the way in the back so you're just going to be running past that previous location and just go straight to the back of the mansion and it's gonna you know kill all the enemies again and the underboss will spawn now locations five and six are both in the joey ultraviolet boss fight by putting the mask on the fountain in the front of the mansion the, the you know chances are you probably already know this but the fountain will lower and then you can go into the you know boss arena once you're in this boss arena joey will have both you know under bosses kind of powering them up it is your job to kill both of these underbosses before you can even attack Joey. So, you know, you're kind of required to kill them. And then kill Joey, and then you're all set that you killed every underboss and the main boss of the event. Hopefully you guys do go ahead and get the Iceberger Shotgun. This, you know, it's a pretty funny shotgun. It's not as powerful as some of the legendaries that were introduced in this um, event, but I'll be covering more tomorrow. So, yeah, it's been insane, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you all later.